Welcome back everyone, uh, Ollie here. Got an update for you from the first two weeks of CPL theory. I said I was gonna do a, try and do a video every week, but turns out that this subject's a little bit more muddy than what I thought it would be. So I've been spending a hell of a lot more time studying rather than making videos, which hopefully you can uh, understand. Um, yeah, so we're doing performance and planning this month. We've had two weeks now of uh, study via Zoom. Obviously, the COVID-19 socializing restrictions have um, left us without a classroom. We're doing everything via the computer from home, which I'm pretty happy about, to be honest. It means that I don't have to travel all the way out to Bankstown uh, for theory lessons. Happy to do it if I'm gonna go flying, but yeah, it's pretty nice to be able to study from the comfort of the home office. I just wanna let you know, my plan with this uh, weekly update is not to try and teach you any of the concepts that I've been learning. More tailored just for if you're either a private pilot or you are not a pilot at all, but you want to become one. I want to give you a taste of what it's like to go through the training of your commercial pilot's license. I'm not a CFI, so I'm never going to try and go out there at this stage and teach you the concepts from start to finish. Some of them are pretty in depth and I'm just learning them myself. So the plan is I'll just run you through the things that we've learnt over the last couple of weeks and give you some insights on what I would have done better or what I would have done better to prepare to start off this module of study. So performance and planning is somewhat broken up into four subjects or four sub-subjects of the broader CASA module. First one is weight and balances. So we're doing a whole range of different calculations on balancing the aircraft and keeping it within its weight limitations. Second is takeoff and landing performance. So given all the different factors that we can consider at one point in time, how well is our aircraft going to perform on takeoff and landing. Then we dive into uh, fuel requirements and our uh, two little beasts that I've been struggling with a little bit just to wrap my head around placing them in some of the questions is our point of no return. So that is a fuel and endurance consideration and our um, equipoint or critical point um, calculations, equitime point or critical point calculations. Uh, yeah, which is more or less to do with fuel, or really nothing to do with fuel, and more to do with time to and from a destination. So if you're a pilot already, you're probably fairly familiar with these concepts. Um, at least if you're a private pilot, then you would have come across them at some point. The main thing to know um, coming into this, I would really uh, allocate a lot of time to doing repetition of the example questions throughout whatever material that you're using. Um, I'm using Bob Tate Performance and then also obviously our class time has their own um, materials that we're working with and then this next week leading up into our exams I'm going to spend some time with the other guys that are in my class and we're going to put each other through some scenario based questions and see if we can work them out um, in a reasonable time frame. Uh, yeah but the main thing is just to focus on doing the reps, doing the reps, doing the reps because some of the questions that they have been throwing at us in preparation are multi-leveled, which 
if you're not paying attention and if you're not reading the question properly, it can be fairly tricky. So that's a wrap for this week. We've weight and balanced our aircraft, loaded it properly. I'm hoping that over the next week, I'm going to be able to get in enough time to uh, really get on top of things. My exam's in a week from now. I think it's on, on a Friday as well, so a lot of practice, a lot of repetition, and hopefully can go in with some confidence, come out with a, not just a pass mark, but something in the 80 to 90%, I'll be extremely happy about. So, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this has shed some light on what performance and planning the subject is like and what you can expect going into it. Um, I'll put some links in the bottom of the show notes as well, just on some of the things that I've talked about and maybe some materials that you can go and check out. Bob Tate has been kind of my cornerstone uh, auxiliary textbooks that I've been using all the way through from my recreational and my private pilot license and now he seems pretty good for the performance side of things in the commercial uh, license as well. So I'd recommend checking his stuff out and um, yeah, anyway, happy flying and I look forward to updating you most likely post exam. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Five chairs that you've taken out and then yeah. add that to add 25 kilos of moment and moment and index to the rear cupboard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool.